Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Chaos Stream. Uh, I'm Rahul. Today we're doing another episode of the Road to Worlds. Uh, my roads, I guess. Um, so this weekend was, uh, as you can see before me, I've had Greninja. Uh, we had a double League Cup this weekend. Um, Waterford and Maitland, uh, both standard. I already picked up a second last weekend in Fort Myers, so my goal going into this weekend was to grab myself a first or a second. Uh, if I could do that, um, I'd be pretty comfortable with the rest of the quarter. Um, so yeah, that was my goal coming in. I was going to go to Melbourne in the morning, because we had three cups on the same day, and Melbourne was the uh, farthest to one way. Earliest in the morning, meaning I, I thought a lot of people wouldn't go to that one. Uh, it turns out a lot of people had the same idea. It started at like 10 a.m. Waterford started at 3. So if you went to Melbourne and did poorly, you could leave early enough to make it to Waterford. I think Michael Canavas went 2-2 two -two drop at Melbourne and showed up to Waterford and then top aided. So people could do things like that. So I had the whole thing planned out and then my ride ended up getting into some unfortunate circumstances um, on their end. So I couldn't and then I was scrambling to put together something last minute, thinking in my head, what's the big deal if I miss just one cup? I have like five five or six more this quarter. I can get that finished pretty easily. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And then I managed to work things out to the point where I kind of showed up at the store. I don't have a car, so I'm there. Um, I made the decision the night before to play Greninja because Gardevoir is really big. People are going to be playing the Tina promo over Garbodor. And Volcanion is a big deck. And Greninja beats all of those if you have Lab. Excuse me. So, I pretty much was talking to Grafton. Uh, because Grafton has been on a tear with Greninja. Picked up like 380 points or something with Greninja so far. After his London top 8. He's been making minor tweaks to his London list and just been playing that. So I talked to him the night before. He pretty much sends me what he's planning on playing the next day. We talk about it a little bit, uh, about the one flex spot that we had in our minds. And then I bite the bullet, buy my third break at the store, and then I go ahead and decide it's time to play Greninja. <laughs> um, the one hesitancy I had with the deck is that it bricks, and sometimes you just lose in a BO1 that's scary. So, you know. I'll talk about my tournament in a second. I'll talk about the deck first. Okay, it's very similar to Grafton's London list. Um... The four talent flame, the three four four three break line, very standard uh, with a talent flame. Four dive ball, two enhanced. The big change from Grafton's London list is we don't play three max potion anymore. It's two, and the third slot was allocated to a one flex spot. In this case, being the rare candy for us, we went for the. Th it was going to be a fourth lab or a third candy or one candy, and the one candy helps a lot in matches when you prize that one frogadier and you can just go candy um, Greninja and set up a fourth without the um, access to a frogadier. And um, the candy pulled its weight in a lot of games. It just like was a surprise factor that my opponents didn't expect. If I needed to go aggressive early, I could just candy Greninja and just go in. Um, the candy was good. It was really good throughout the day. I would not take it out. Two super odd. Also changed from Grafton's London unless he played one there. Uh, two here. Uh, you need the two. Uh, you pitch so many resources so early a lot of the time just to set up and just to keep yourself in the game. Um, two Ultra Balls, four VS, one Ace, one Fisher, one Lysander, three N, four Sycamore, one Flare Grunt, three Lab. Now all the stadiums become Lab because of the Giratina promo, which we have to deal with. Because if Greninja can't use its abilities, it gets really hard for them to win the game. Now, um... Sound Lab also serves a dual purpose where you can set, shut out Rayquaza, shut out Guard of War early, beat Volcanion pretty handedly. Any deck that needs Shaman, it's really good. So, two balloons, two splash, and seven water. List is super standard. Like I said in the in the Facebook comments earlier, nothing crazy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. So I get to the tournament. I reluctantly am building Greninja. Um, I'm having a lot of second doubts. I don't want to play the deck. I'm scared. Um, I It's one of the decks that I fear the most in a BO1 format because it can just brick and die and you lose. So I was like, whatever. Um, game 1, up against Mark Daly, playing Volcanion. 
Uh, Mark's a good friend of mine, so I know he's playing Volcanion for a while now. I thought he might be playing Guardi because he needed a Dragonite's back the morning of. So I was like, maybe he might be playing Guardi. Uh, that might be an option to consider. But then he flips over the Volcanion EX, does some stuff, passes, and then I go attached to my Froakie. I have the Frogadier in my hand, but I'm terrified that if he um, has the way if it, I'm like if he has float stone um baby volcanian fighting fear built energy steam up I lose um and that's that's not unrealistically hard for volcanian to have so I n don't find another basic attach to froki bob balloon bubble hit heads and I'm like okay he's bubbled everything is going my way he draws takes about a second goes baby volcanian uh Fighting Fairy Belt, Steam Up, Retrieval, Attach, Return, Olympia, Knockout. And I was like, okay, sick. I got Donk. Then we played another fun game afterwards, and I couldn't find energy for like 12 turns. And I pretty much was like, okay, so this is how the day is going to be. This deck sucks. I played Greninja. I hate myself for it. Um, why did I do this? Why did I listen to Grafton? Yada, yada, yada. I was tilted. I was salty. I was really upset. I was just listening to my music. It's like 5 p.m. I've had a long day already. I'm like, man, why do we have to start at 4 p.m.? I'm not going to get out here till midnight. Um, the whole shebang. It was it was pretty bad. And then round two up against, I believe, a Gardevoir player. And he just didn't set up. Uh, like He just didn't draw into cards he needed. He didn't set up. And I got the lab really early, so it shut him out hard of the game. I just got my lab. And then I just swept his board, and he couldn't do anything about it. And so I took uh, Guardi's really easy actually with Greninja if you're playing, if if you're playing Lab, the the Lab changes the matchup entirely. Um, yeah, it becomes incredibly favorable. And then next round I went up against another Guardi, a surprise miss, and it was Safraz Rashid. He missed a lot of early drops on cards, and I just had four turns to Aero Blitz. Uh, my Talon Flame survived about four turns. I just continuously Aero Blitz until I had an entire field of Greninja and Greninja Breaks set up because he was draw passing and I knew once I had my field set up he's not going to take the knockouts he needs to take so I roll Safraz and we move on to uh, round 4 I'm playing against Tyler Chaplin uh, he's playing Mega Rayquaza, Metal and he's playing Jose's London list um, basically uh, he has to pitch a lot of resources early I think double puzzle, double turbo uh, and a Mega, they all go out the window with a Sycamore. And so I take opportunity with that, and I just kind of dig for my labs, try to get my labs to stick. It got really annoying at one point, because I had to pull up his Giratina promo and knock that out. But he already used all of his Float Stones, so he had no way to get out of the act spot, other than burn a DCE, and he was already low on resources. So I just had to kill a Tina promo twice after he, buddy, uh, he Dragonite it back, and then I won the game. And then following that, I got a Greninja Mirror, uh, unfortunately for Juan, I opened Talon Flame, he did not, and uh, I set up, and I went first too, so I was able to do the set up my entire board first, uh, and eventually he had one break, um, he only had one break and no no Greninja's on the bench, he just had three Frogadier, and he went for 80 and he knocked out my um, Greninja, and then I double break evolved and one shot, his. I, well, I killed the break. And he just was on the back foot from there because every time he couldn't he couldn't do anything but shadow stitch from that point on, and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna keep hitting you, do what I want to do. This game is mine. So I won the mirror against Juan pretty convincingly. Uh, I'm four one, and then I go up against Zachary Flanagan, uh, who is playing Mega Altaria Garbodor. It's an unwinnable matchup, uh, Greninja, in my mind because they can they they're a slow deck just like you. They can set up and they continuously heal with their healing cards and the fact that Altaria heals and they do 130 damage exactly yeah it's pretty bad uh, I take the idea with him he doesn't want to do it the first, at the beginning but then after because um, he's afraid he's gonna miscut at 401 uh, IDing with me because I got I got up paired but then I like reassure him that there's no way a 402 is missing cut that's gonna be one of the top seeds blah 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 he likes what I have to say he accepts my ID and we move on and I go get Jimmy John's Come back for top eight. Uh, there's me, Grafton, and Mike all playing very similar 60s. Me and Grafton playing the same 60. Mike playing one card off, I want to say. Um, in top eight, all with the same Greninja list, pretty much. And so that made us all pretty psyched. We were all super ha happy about that. Um, all made it in. Jose made it in with Ray. So all four of us made cut that wanted to make it that on the day. Um, 
and pairings go up, and fortunate for me, I hit the Volcanion. I'm on the other side of the bracket as my friends. The bracket stands so uh, Grafton and Mike are playing in top eight, and the winner of that will play the winner of Jose and his match in top four, and then I would have to beat the finals. Like, I, I dodged all of them. They're all on one side, I'm on the other. Super good for me. I end up getting the Volcanion Raichu deck. Um, my three labs, plus the fact that I just have the natural edge on him because of typing, won me the matchup, as well as to put in the 2 2. He played a 2 2 Raichu. To put in the 2 2 Raichu, he had to cut things somewhere. He cut switch cards, he cut some supporters, some, some consistency cards here and there. He played level balls and stuff like that, too. So it was really weird. Um, it just wasn't as consistent as a, as, as a normal Volcanian deck, so it, it wasn't putting early pressure on me early enough, and I just kind of set up, got my three breaks, rolled him. Um, top four up against Nate McDonald, he's playing Mega Guardi. Game one, he draw passes for a couple turns until I win. Game two, he draw passes for a couple turns until I win. Um, pretty unfortunate for Nate, my Silent Lab stuck both games. And with that, I had one of the easiest roads I've ever had to the finals. I'm pretty content with finals already. I didn't think the deck would make it that far. I didn't think the deck was that good. I was like, okay, I'm in the finals. I don't think I'm making it any further. I probably lost. I should pack it up. Because I, cause I had Grafton in 60 card mirror, and Grafton's played Greninja forever, so he knows how to play the mirror. But, as he told me earlier, the mirror comes down to both people have to draw well, and whoever is the first one to miss with a card loses the game. So I was drawing slightly better than Grafton game one. Like I would enhance Hammer him, he would enhance Hammer me. We both had our balloons. We both had our max potions on cue. Just the fact that I went first and he had one Frogadier prized won me the game. Although both of us were drawing perfectly the entire game. The second game, there was a couple of things that happened, and we get to a situation where my field is a Greninja break, Greninja break, and a Froakie. Uh, and then I decided that rather than Shadow Stitch for two more turns and take the knockout that way. I'm going to just do 80 and take the knockout right then and there, leaving him with one break. And so he does 60 to set up my bench one for knockout with the Shadow Stitch, and then Shadow Stitch is my active and kills it. Uh, not Shadow Stitch, sorry, he uses um, 80 to kill it. And I go, okay, push up 60, um, candy, I top deck the candy, so candy, candy Greninja. But my deck at the time was Rare Candy, Dive Ball, Super Rod, so I was going to dig for the candy play anyway. That was my that was my play for the next fall turn, but I topped at the candy, life got easy. Um, <laughs> I did that to Grafton, and then I ended up winning. It was pretty sick. Uh, I love winning tournaments, no matter how big, no matter how small they are. Uh, super happy, the deck is good. I think it might be the play going into Athens, I'm not entirely sure. This puts me right under 200 points at 192. Uh, I can't be too upset. We got 90 cap points of this quarter. So, other than that, that's pretty much this deck, Greninja. I've been playing a lot of different decks, as you guys can see recently. Um, like, the second day today, I played Vespa Queen for about a round, and then I dropped because I was offered a judging position, and I just didn't want to play because I don't need to, so I judged instead. Um, uh, got got packs, got to watch all my friends do well, got to hang out with everybody. I don't mind it. I like to judge, too. Um... But this is the Green Angel list I played. Uh, Grafton got second with it, as I said earlier. Mike got top eight. And then Grafton also top eight it again the second day, going 5-1 in Swiss. And then Anthony Desiata um, got top four with it elsewhere. Um, so the list is pretty good. I like the deck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I rambled on a lot. I'm really tired. I haven't slept very well in two days. I like the list. If you liked it, please like. Please subscribe. Liking helps the video out a lot. And... Um, yeah, enjoy the list, try it out, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much.